I am having the roughest day trying to make a video. Thankfully, the postal service came through, and it's time for another mailbag. First one up is this chonky boy here. The description is 10 pieces, plastic battery storage box holder case 4. Um, I ordered a couple different kinds, so I don't know which one this is. But uh, July 31st to August 28th, and it is almost uh, $6 Canadian, so al almost a month, and six bucks. So let's see which ones of the battery holders. Interesting. There's like this plastic, but it's not really in there. Oh, look. It's in an open Ziploc. So these are uh, 18650 sized holders. And I specifically got the. Oh, I think there's 10 of them in here too. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, there's 10. I specifically got the ones with the tabs that are pulled down like this because I find that when you buy cheap battery boxes on eBay, um, they come with tiny, tiny little wires. So I figure we can probably pull more current off these little tabs than the, uh, I don't know, like 30 gauge wire with rock hard insulation. So yeah, I got uh, 10 of these because I have a few 18650s kicking around and I have no way to really secure them or to add them to a project in a non-permanent way. I have some that are kind of, I don't know, kind of a sketchy state. That's my sort of fireproof box here. So there we go. These are pulled out of an old laptop and you put the positive on that side, negative on this side. Yeah, they look like they fit relatively well and then I'll be able to uh, grab the positive and negative from the other side there. Not too bad. And now I can also make a little charging rig for them and yeah, what have you. 18650 projects are abound. We're going from that last chonky boy to this skinny boy here. And uh, the descriptor is just electronics times one, which is um, very descriptive for a channel like mine. Uh, July 31st to August 16th it came in, $6.60. It didn't take very long to come in, so that's pretty nice. The problem is I forget what these things are because this came in on the 16th. On the 16th I looked up what it was, put the price down, um, but now it's like September something, so I have no idea. Oh! Finally, let's take a closer look at these. So I'm not 100% sure what these guys are because um, there's quite a few of these modules that have that look similar but have different names. Um, let me see if I can look at this up close. NRF 24L01. Okay, that's what I thought it was. So these are little wireless modules and I think think so some are Bluetooth some are Wi-Fi some are just wireless communications I'm not sure which ones these are Ooh, look at that crystal it's canted right over but yeah I ordered five of these for six bucks and something and apparently you can run Arduino code on these so yeah we'll we'll see I'm I've been really curious to get into these things and so I think now is the great time to do that. And plus, um, they were cheap. Like, you can't complain. They were like a buck something each. And uh, being a Canadian, you can't get much for a buck anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to have to power these up at some point. But uh, I'm guessing that'll be a separate video. Either I'm going to try it out off camera, get comfortable, and make a tutorial. Or I'll just have a, uh, you know watch me struggle with this type video. Put down in the comments below which one you'd rather see. Next one up is this guy, kind of big but skinny. Um, $1.32, so I don't think it's going to be anything too impressive. Uh, July 17th to August 22nd took. And it is modules. I thought that last one was modules. I don't know how many modules I'm going to get for a buck, but whatever. It is what it is.
Those aren't modules at all. So these are just some more uh, shop supplies. These are 100. 0.01 microfarad capacitors. So 103. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see it on the little uh, screen, so I don't know if it's in focus. Yeah, you get a hundred of these for dirt cheap, and uh, they're very useful for decoupling and just general having. For a dollar, it's worth having a bunch in stock. Uh, I was going to uh, give this a circuit test, but damn it, I hate having to stock 9 volt batteries. I need to get my butt going on my multi power supply project because I'm sick of buying 9 volt batteries and you forget them somewhere and uh, they die. You gotta go buy another one. If you want to support me to get more 9 volt batteries, uh, check out the link in the description for my Patreon. Okay, so here it goes. Don't know if that's in focus. It's probably not. Uh, 11, should be 10 nano. So 0 0.01 microfarad. I don't know how accurate these cheap capacitors are, and I also don't know how accurate this cheap tester is. That's wildly different. <laughs> let's let's see if we give the same one another test, see what it comes up to. Uh, it's close. It's close. But yeah, nothing too special to see here. Just some nice capacitors to have in stock. So I have a bag of 100... Um, 0.1 and now 100.01 capacitors so when I build a project I can put these in with impunity it got it got close there when I was sending out my kits I almost ran out of capacitors next one up is this guy and July 17th to August 23rd so that's like a month and a third uh, there should be two things in here sweet you guys get a bonus so 179 and 129 and it just says electronic. I hope it's not something boring like capacitors again. Oh no. Damn. Let's take a closer look at these. So what these are, are something boring like capacitors again. In fact, these guys are capacitors. Uh, 0805 10 nano. I think that says 100 pieces. Not sure. Yep, just a roll of 100 SMD capacitors. They are absolutely tiny. So watch me try to solder these in a future video for sure. But uh, this is because I also want to make up some SMD versions of kits. And if I'm going to send kits out to my Patreons or to my YouTube friends or even just build kits here. Um, I don't want people to have to order a hundred of these and wait a month just to put together a kit I built. I want to send them this and they'll be good to go. So if I need 10 of them, you know, I can make 10 kits out of that. And these guys, very similar, but these are SMD diodes. Not quite sure the part number on this. Um, they're small. How about that? I think they fit. I use my uh, geek ruler here as a guide. And I think the diode package I used was uh, one of these two. One of these little guys. I don't know. It was tiny. Very small. So this is 0805. And these things would be the equivalent, but in a diode package. It's a little bit different because it has legs, it doesn't have like the caps like these things have. But yeah, nothing too special to see here. Would be interesting to uh, put a hundred diodes back to back to back and see if we can have a 0.7 volt drop over each and every one of them, but uh, then I'll have to order more and then I'll, you'll get another boring entry on my mailbag video. The last one we have here is this extremely chonky boy, that's a big one. 
Uh, it is September 4th today. This has just come into the mail. Um, I wish I was a little bit more like a um, pile of stuff where he has uh, a literal pile of these things where he can't make the videos fast enough to get through them. Either that or he's just spacing them out. Um, as soon as I get five, I make them unless I get like a lot in the same day. But yeah, this one's an expensive one, uh, like almost $17 Canadian altogether. So this is header sockets, two of them, and 10 plastic sheet. Um, since this came in today, I know exactly what's inside, but you guys do not. To be honest, I love making mailbag videos, so even if I had a backlog, I would just make them spend a whole, whole day and make them continuously. Okay. Headers and plastic sheets indeed. So these are all from my delusions of grandeur. A little bit of a problem I have, I guess. Uh, these are header pins, and I couldn't just order one or 10 or 20 because you don't get a decent price individually. You only get a particularly good price if you order a hundred. So I have a hundred of these uh, pin header things. Um, so I have some forever. I don't think I'll be needing any anytime soon. I do like to break them and make them into smaller chunks and have them available, but now I have them available. And a lot of the stuff that I ordered today are motivated by me wanting to send out kits. Mind you, this was before I realized how expensive it is to ship kits. It's insane. I shipped uh, two kits in Canada, um, and those kits cost me nearly 40 bucks just to ship. I shipped one overseas and that one was uh, a little bit cheaper. So yeah, that's a hundred pin headers and that was probably the six dollars. This here is a hundred switches. Now these are not surface mount, they're um, very rectangle type switches. So there we go. A nice little toggle like that got two terminals very simple and this was ten dollars for a hundred of them so if you think about it they were you know ten cents each not bad at all um, will I need this many well I thought I'd be building a butt ton of kits but I don't know if anybody is gonna be willing to pay twenty dollars for me to ship them a kit well, oh well. The only way to find out is to become a Patreon because they typically will be the first recipients of my kits. If I can't afford to send them all, then I'll do a raffle, but it'll be a Patreon raffle. And this lovely pile is my pile of overspending. I'd like to thank my Patreons to make my overspending a little bit less scary. And uh, also, guys, hang in there. If I do design a kit, you Patreons will be the first ones to uh, get dibs on them. And it looks like I should be getting busy making kits. For the rest of you, just the fact that you're watching or sharing or whatever means a lot to me. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for watching.